Lymphatic drainage and lymphatic drainage massage have been shown to be safe during pregnancy and also shown in studies to lower swelling and edema in the legs and the arms during the day. Increased swelling can lead to an increase in aching, pain, and fatigue. My name is Kelly. I'm a physical therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist that specializes in lymphatic drainage. I also happen to currently be about seven months pregnant at the time of recording this video. I am putting together a series of videos about swelling management during and after pregnancy that will be in a playlist on my channel. So be sure to subscribe and follow along to see when the, all of those videos are released this year. But today in this video, I'm going to show how to do a self lymphatic drainage routine to the lower body to help decrease swelling and discomfort in pregnancy. This will be a step-by-step -step instruction, but if you're looking for a printable handout and a diagram, you can find a full body lymphatic drainage routine for healthy lymphatics on my website, which I will link up above and down below. But other than that, let's get started. So first, yes, moving around and positioning while pregnant is a whole different ball game. What's easiest and most effective? Ideally, the legs are above your heart or at least equal with your heart to allow gravity to assist in the fluid moving. But someone may need to adjust for that again with pregnancy and laying on your back. It just gets challenging. So I think it's best to be fully supported by pillows or propped up on a couch or in a bed. A recliner would also be great if someone has one set up in the nursery already um, or if someone has one in their living room. I would also use a bolster pillow or more pillows for underneath the legs to help support them up. Also help bring them up closer to you to make it easier to reach. If you're still unable to reach your legs well, then I would skip what I said about this being a self lymphatic drainage routine and just have your partner or another individual follow along with this video and help you out. Now for the routine. We always want to start with deep breathing. You have a lot of lymph nodes and lymphatic vessels deep in your abdomen. The fluid in your leg still has to travel through the abdomen. It's just a bit more full inside and things are congested thanks to that sweet little one or multiples inside. So what we wanna do is we wanna just take a deep breath. I'll put my hand on my abdomen so I can feel my belly expand into my hands. So deep breath in and out. Okay, we're gonna do three more of those. Big breath in and out, breath in, and out, and one more breath in, and out. Next, we wanna do circles or stimulate the lymph nodes that are in the groin area. And so we put our hands right where that crease is where you sit, where the inguinal lymph nodes sit. We put our hands on there and just gently do 10 to 15 circles. You don't have to press hard, the lymph nodes are right under the skin. We are gently stimulating those lymph nodes to help keep them active. You can do one side at a time, or you can do both at the same time. So next we're gonna work the fluid up from the leg. If someone is short on time, they can start at the foot and work their way up right away. But ideally with lymphatic drainage, we're starting at the top, working our way down, and then reversing the pattern back up the leg. So I'm gonna start with the thigh area. What we're gonna do is using our full hand with as much surface area as possible, we're going to do gentle strokes up the leg trying to think about guiding fluid up towards the groin area where those lymph nodes sit. We're gonna do four to five strokes in each area of the leg. So making sure we do the front and then making sure that we also go and do each side of the thigh 
Again, it should be firm, not a deep pressure. The lymphatic vessels sit right under the skin so you don't have to press hard. And then we'll also make sure we do the back of the thigh as well. The fluid as it comes up the back of the thigh actually wraps around towards the front. So we'll try to guide our fluid from the back around the sides towards the front of the hip or front of that groin area. And after we've done four or five there, then we're gonna work around the knee. I'll work around the kneecap, trying to get around the bone area where fluid might get stuck or congested. We'll also do circles with our hand, massaging the lymph nodes right behind the knee. You can do eight to 10 circles there. And then once we've done the knee area and the back of the knee, then we're gonna work down to our lower leg. And so this is where if you need to bend your knee out, cross it over, or find a position that works for you. Sometimes laying down is not realistic, and so it can be done in sitting as needed. Laying down is just ideal because of gravity, but it's not always realistic for a lot of people, and so sitting is just fine in that case. But from there, the same thing, we're using our whole hand, and we're going to work in strokes up from our ankle to our knee. Doing about four to five at each level or each area. If someone has more fluid in area, they can spend more time in that area, but making sure we're also doing the sides and the back of the lower leg too. If someone wants to spend more time around their ankle, we can do that. I like to work around the bones of the ankle and the inside and the outside and behind those bones because a lot of fluid likes to sit in that region. Gently massaging and working it out of there, working it upwards. And then we'll finish with the foot on the top of the foot and the toes as needed, working it up towards the ankle some people will have to use more fingertips to get in between the tendons on the foot or use the whole hand. And you can work in each individual toes or do them together. And after we've done that four or five times, then we're gonna reverse the pattern. So we're gonna go back to the ankle, work that fluid around the joints, around the bones. And then we've spent there, we'll spend more time in the ankles. I personally swell the most in this ankle region, so I'll spend a little bit more time here. And then we'll work into the lower leg. Same thing, full hand from the ankle to the knee, gently stretching the skin to guide that fluid up and out. Make sure we go back and do the back of the calf back of the lower leg, as well as the sides, four to five times, or as much time as you need. Then we're gonna go back up to the knee area when we finish with the lower leg. So we'll work around the kneecap, and on the sides of the knee, and then also making sure we get behind the knee as well. And then we'll finish back up with the thigh, working from the knee area to the front of the hip or groin. Four or five times in each area, using again as much surface area of your hand as possible. And when you get to the sides and the back of the leg, Make sure that you start to wrap that fluid around towards the front. And once you feel you have completed the thigh as much as needed, you can come back to that lower groin area and do some more circles to stimulate those lymph nodes. We can also try to guide the fluid up the side of the body 
because there are lymph vessels on the side as well. If someone's trying to do the back side, the bottom, or the back of the hips, that fluid will wrap around from the side or the back towards the front. So spending time wrapping around from the back to the front is the direction to follow. And then when you've completed one leg, you can repeat the same thing on the opposite side. So what we'll do is start with circles, the groin if you haven't already done them, and then we'll start at the thigh and working from the knee towards the groin. Can have someone is short on time, they can start at the foot and work their way up or just focus on the lower leg because usually there's not a true condition, lymphatic dysfunction, it's usually just mild swelling. But if they have time, the most effective way is to do complete decongestive therapy with lymphatic drainage in a specific sequence. So when we get to the back as well, make sure you're wrapping around towards the front. And then when you finish with the thigh area, you can move on to the knee. Again, making sure you're going around the bone, around that kneecap. And you also want to do those circles and stimulate those lymph nodes behind the knee. After you've done eight to 10 circles there, then we'll move on to the lower leg finding that position that works for you, working from the ankle up towards the knee. Spend more time in the areas that you feel more swelling or notice more swelling, but make sure that you get behind the leg as well. And then you can work down around the ankle area, making sure you're working with your fingers around those bones. There are extra space there, so fluid likes to sit in those crevices. So we spend more time around the bones there. And then when you have finished with the lower leg and the ankle area, you can move on to the foot, working from the toes up the top. And after you've done the foot and ankle, again, we're going to reverse and go in the opposite direction again. So working around the ankle area, and then we'll work up back to the lower leg from the ankle to the knee. making sure we're getting all sides. And with the lower leg, it can just go straight up the back, straight up the sides, or straight up the front. We have lymph nodes that are behind the knee and lymph vessels that are also on the sides and the front. About four to five strokes in each area, using as much hand surface area as possible. Then when you finish the lower leg, we'll go back to around the knee, working around the kneecap, on the sides of the knee, and then also in the back behind the knee. And then we'll finish this leg with the thigh, working everything to the front of the hip into that groin area on the sides towards the front, and also in the back, wrapping that around towards the front as you work your way up. And then again, if you wanna work into the back, 
to the bottom area on the sides of the hip. Then you want to start from the sides and the back and work around, wrapping around towards the front. All of the fluid in this area goes to the lymph nodes in that groin area, which are in the front. You can also do more circles in that area. And you can try to bring some of that up and out. And then when you're all completed and have spent as much time as you'd like on your legs, then we like to finish with three to four more deep breaths. So making sure you can put your hand on your belly to feel your belly expand. Take a big breath in and out. Again, breath in and out. Third one, breath in and out. And then one more, breath in and out. So that's a full routine for self-lymphatic drainage for swelling and edema during pregnancy. For more information and content related to swelling and edema management, you can check out the rest of my channel and you can check out the swelling in pregnancy playlist for more specific content. Again, if you're just looking for a printout or a handout that you can follow along with with the diagram, you can also find that on my website, which I have linked down below. But other than that, we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.